coming up in this episode a quick tutorial on video overlays using VSDC <music> greetings Southpaw here thanks for joining us and if this is the first time you're coming to the channel welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like and share button too if you would if you want to be notified every time I upload some new content don't forget to hit that notification bell this is a quick video on video overlays uh, for Dave's RC who asked me uh, what software I was using and stuff so this is a, just a quick video to show you how to use VSDC which is a free editor um, there is a paid version but I've never needed to use any of the pro tips so the free version is outstanding I know a few of the other reviewers use it as well so this is just a quick one uh, so when you open it up this is the screen you'll get uh, this is just an advert so you can get rid of that when you come across to your project list you can create slideshows and content video capture etc but you just want to hit blank project that'll bring up the window then you can title it oh it'll check for a, it's just checking for an update not that at this time thank you so just call that test for now and then you've got your option of your resolution so that's all the resolutions you can pick from from absolute rubbish all the way up to HD 4k and then frame rate as well that will go all the way up to 60 frames a second your width will be set once you set this this um, settings it, this will be the, the standard default every time you load it up unless you wish to change it so as long as you're happy with everything you can set the background color I've got my opacity to zero so it's a blank uh, non-existent background color finish there's your window right so across the top here you've got uh, let's bring a video in first so we can see the functions so come down to this one you've got add video audio and images so you just click on add video and then we can go to let's go to raw files and we'll just pick that one double tap that'll import it in now how fast it imports it in it is usually pretty damn quick but depending on how rubbish your computer is this this one I'm using is very slow I'll be editing the uh, the gaps in between so this will bring up this window here so it's coming same from the cursor position cursor position is here down here on your timeline and obviously it's going to be at zero so that's first that so basically the window comes up you hit okay Bam, there it is okay so here's your timeline so it's going up to uh, looks like 18 20, 19 seconds and you've got your position down here at the bottom there so if we use these buttons here you can go forward one frame at a time or this one is one second at a time now we'll click forward and you can see it's moved there on the timeline so what you want to do is we want to put a video overlay in there so we will come back over here to the add video you can drag and drop as well we'll just select the next one and it will say from cursor position again all these windows that come up pretty much you just have to click OK and that will add the video to your timeline from that cursor position okay so there it is in the timeline obviously that video is, is covering entirely the main video you put in so what you want to do is just drag and drop the size down to where you want it like that now you might only want half the video so you come to here wherever you want to finish the the, uh, the actual overlay like that the black box around this one tells you that it's highlighted and then we come up here you've got remove and undo and various different locations this will move it up and down in the uh, in the list which will make it overlay or underlay so be careful with that one you've got uh, rotations here as well you can crop the borders so if, if there's a if it's a photo and you want to take a frame out you can crop the border out of that and then we'll split it into parts so that's what we want to do hit that there okay so it's split it into two now you need to tap 
outside because it's selected both of those at the same time. So you only want this first section here, so you tap on the section that you don't want. Right click, delete. And now from the rest of that video, there's no overlay. So you can come back at any point during the overlay period, which is denoted by the band underneath here. And you can see your overlay. Now there is a, a preview um, it's very jerky and depending on how awful your computer is it's very very jerky but it gives you a rough idea of what you've done um, if you if you're going for precision frame to frame transitions and things like that this is you're going to need a faster computer or you're going to need um, better cut better software but for basic overlays um, this is is more than adequate so then once you've done that you can add um, you can add a watermark so let's go back to the start to there and then add image and select that one double tap again it will ask where you want it from and it's from the cursor position for the duration which is the next 19 seconds because it's your watermark so you want it pretty much over most of your video now the South Pole drones a bit at the bottom there we don't want so we hit the crop borders button select the border just drag it up okay and that's gone and then resize it take a hold of it now they're sticky so when you first try and move it it'll it'll stay there and then spring but then then you can move it wherever you want let go now it's it's on top of all the layers because it's at the bottom so the, whatever's at the bottom will overlay over anything above it just so you know and now you've got that will appear anywhere in the video over the top of everything else so that's it really basic stuff if you go then up to export project it'll give you your codex and everything it's going to use your frame rate and etc that you've set and you get to get the chance down here if you want to change that profile you can change that straight away now what you have to do is click on change name move to where you want to save it download for now and then if you want to rename it from test you can put test 3 or whatever you want to call it save and then that will then be your location and your name for your video then you just hit export project that will take you uh, I won't actually export the project but it takes you to the conversion screen and it will preview frame by frame as it goes through so you don't want to do that that will slow down the actual rendering so untick the preview box and then simply hit start conversion and away you go in the export project you've got various different formats you can select ready to go I always just select the YouTube one obviously and then hit export but that's it that is um, overlaying videos using VSDC Thanks for joining us. See you next time on Southall Drones.